<laughs> this is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 374, for Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Welcome. Why, I, uh... I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> why did the triangle not go on a date with the circle? They weren't a good fit? It was pointless. <laughs> Let's have a cocktail. We should. Excellent. I wish it was. All right. So, Sailor recently came out with her 10th anniversary cocktail set. Yes. So, starting in 2011 through this year, they've had a, a, a cocktail pen uh, every year, uh, limited edition. And this year, they came out with the set. They reintroduced all of them. All of them. So we've, we've had them as a set. They've, they've been very slowly coming in. Uh, and uh, we just got in two sets the other day. So we've decided we have one set available that we are going to leave as a set until tomorrow, Friday, the 4th. And then we're going to break it up. We also have another set that we are going to break. Up? We're going to break it up. We're breaking up. No, we're not breaking up. <laughs> you, you don't get you don't get off that easy. <laughs> um, so we have we have one set that we're going to break up immediately. Yes. Uh, and then um, this other set we're going to leave as a set. It comes with a display case, a really nice leather leather case. Yeah, the case is nice. Um, and uh, and that's going to be available till tomorrow. So we have one day basically to decide. And uh, the other one, and then and then we'll break it up and we'll have them available separately, which I know people will want. Yes. Um, they include a lot of great pens, including this year's Curry Azure, yep. which uh, we got a couple in and then they were gone within a couple of hours. Uh, this blue with uh, kind of a lime green top on it. Super pretty. Um, Last year's Angel's Delight. This was a nice one. I like this one. The nice clear ends and uh, the white, white cap with the kind of a burgundy-ish Barrel. All right, let me just get in your way. You're going to get in my this way. This is the Tequila Sunrise, right? That's Tequila Sunrise, yep. That's, That's really from cool. uh, 2018. Uh, and then this one. This one I like a lot. I'm going to put this one in my pocket. It's because I have it. <laughs> I was given this pen as a gift from a customer years ago at a pen show, and we didn't, we couldn't find what it was. We didn't know if it was a, a dealer exclusive from Japan. Um, when President Hisa and um, the other reps from Sailor Japan came to see us, I remember sitting in the bar in Chicago. He couldn't remember. And he couldn't, they were trying to figure out. Which one it was. Where uh, they, when that was. So, so it's kind of uh, cool to have that identified. It's the, uh, the uh, Alpreis Key. key yeah. uh, this is the Blue Lagoon. Pretty. From 2016. Uh, blue with a, kind of a neon green end caps. This one is the Old Fashioned. That's kind of cool. I do yeah. like that one. Yeah. I mean, I can't can't have all of these. But, no. Um, all right. Wait. 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 I have that on tape. Yeah. I you don't can't want. I, I don't these. want all these. <laughs> um, uh, 2014 Piccadilly Night. That's cool. Uh, white transparent cap. What's well, kind of sparkly? The cap is, the sparkly. Cap is sparkly. The cap is sparkly. Yeah. Okay. Very That's good. cool. Ooh, what's this one? Now that one I think I like the best. This one's all sparkly. Uh, that's the black velvet from 2013. Yeah. It's all. Sparkly. Would you call that amber? Would I would you call, call that rum brown? and coke as well. Rum and coke, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you would. <laughs> um, and uh, Angels, uh, let's see what we've got here. Mojito. Ooh. Uh, a transparent with green section end caps. Is that kind of sparkly? Uh, I'm all about the sparkle. It is, yes. Today. Apparently it's, it's got some. Oh, yeah, on the barrel too. Okay. A little sparkle. And the only one that's not a full size pro gear. Yeah, that's interesting. This one. The Asian Way. Yes. So this was the first one. That's the first one. Yep. And then they switched to the Pro Gear mm -hmm. shape. But that does have a two tone nib, Ooh. which is kind of neat. Yeah. Um, very pretty. So 1911 large on that first one. And a dark purple with clear ends. Very cool. Very cool. So those are the individual pens. Those are what comes in the set. If you want the set, act now. Yeah, we've got. Uh, and the, the set is the same price as 10 pens. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. And you get the beautiful and this, leather this, case. this leather binder is really really nice. Brian wants uh, it. It's got the sailor sailor the old sailor logo on there. Yep. Uh, with Popeye on it, and um, 
It's really nice. It's very, so it's you, very soft. You want me to buy you a set just so you can have the case? No, no, no. I'm just going to break them up and I'm going to keep the set. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful pens. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you know, we hardly ever do any real sales pitch, but these will go fast. Some of these yeah, will be gone immediately. If, so if we break it up, they'll be gone. There, there'll be pieces gone. And actually we have, we have some real good customers that we have told that if we break a set up, yeah. they have first crack at some yep. of these. So, uh, and, and all things considered the 10 piece set, yeah, it's a lot of money, but you're getting 10 pens for right. 2,700 bucks. And I, I know that's a lot of money, but um, I know some people were thinking about going in with other people mm -hmm. and I want this one or you want that one and seeing if they can do it. But uh, now's your chance. We have a medium fine set up. Okay. Uh, and the fine set that we have, we're going to break up okay. and uh, put that up within a couple days. Uh, within a couple days. The Palladium Dialogue 3, what a cool color. Um, and then what's not to like about that that big nib coming out? Um, this one's got a broad 14 karat nib on it. Uh, I love but the But there Lamy. are other nibs. There are options. other nibs, yeah. Extra fine, fine, medium, broad yes. on, on all these pens. Um, I just like the way it, it rotates and it comes out and it's it's actually angled at the front. Okay. If you notice that, that's kind of cool. And it's, it's a nice size. Um, it's a cool pen. I, I really like it. Uh, and it's now available. So we have the matte black. We mm -hmm. have the palladium. Mm -hmm. We have... Piano just, black. Just deal with the tag here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just deal with it. Uh, the piano black, which is really, really kind of a... Uh, I hate to say it, a se sexy pen. And I just love that. That reminds me of like a... Why do you hate to say it? Well, you know... You can say sexy. It's a sexy pen. Um, the sound of that movement reminds me of like an old camera. You know, clicking the shutter. Okay. Um, oh, now you're going to get into cameras? No. Oh, my no, God. No, I'm not. No, okay. I don't have time for that stuff. Thank God. It'll cut into my pen and watch bone <laughs> time. Uh, and, uh, and, 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 uh, and a gloss white, which actually is kind of neat. It's, it's, it's completely different. It's, it's really going to get you noticed if you have this. Uh, it kind of almost reminds me of like a Star Wars Stormtrooper kind of thing. Oh, yeah. It's got a little black Absolutely. ring on the outside yep. there. Uh, but it's just really a neat pen. It's definitely bigger in the hand. Um, not uncomfortably so. This would be by far one of the largest pens I would use. Um, but uh, we had these in Chicago and they sold really well. Yep. Um, it's just different. Uh, you know, a, a different Lamy's version, I guess you'd say, of the, the vanishing point. But this is... Uh, it's a, it's a substantial writing instrument. It absolutely it's, is. Um, you know, and it's in it's in line with uh, gold nib, any gold nib pen. The Scala. Now, this is a pen that not a lot of people talk about. Um, it's a it's a really interesting design. It's basically a flat top, friction fit cap. I like that. Um, for uh, they come in either steel or fourteen karat gold nibs. Um, this one is the piano black. It's got the, the, with the gold nib with the, with the 14 karat gold nib. Yep. Uh, and these of course all come in the same nib sizes, uh, extra fine through broad. Um, the uh, steel ones can also come in the left hand nib as well. Right. But uh, just a different design. It's a little bit more rigid of a clip. It's uh, yep. uh, maybe a little bit more conservative as far as the, uh, if you can say that about a, a German pen. Um, it's, more conservative? Most German pens are pretty... I, I know, this is pretty yeah. conservative. <laughs> <But> <laughs> nice I, I, I nice like weight. It. It's, it's thin, it's not, it's, not, I mean, it's not super thin, but it's, it's, um, it's a nice, uh, a nice it's, girth. It's a it. nice size, um, definitely long enough in the hand. It doesn't feel unwieldy when it's posted. Um, you know, some pens that just get way too long. Mm -hmm. So this does post deeper onto the barrel so it doesn't feel too back heavy. I mean it's it's a it's a little a little long maybe if you have smaller hands. Um, yeah it's not too bad. But it's not too bad. Um, and unposted it's certainly a decent length. Yeah. Then of course it comes in the ballpoint. It comes in roller balls and the ballpoint is super cool looking. Yeah. I really like how the ballpoint looks. I think that's a nice looking I, I really like pen. how you're getting into ballpoints. It actually does come in a mechanical pencil too. Yes. Very so this cool. is a very classy looking pencil uh, and it's twist to operate. And I always Ooh. like, 
I always like pencils that are that are twist to operate, so you don't accidentally bump them or right. anything. You have to manually move the back of the cap to extend it. Brian has been talking about this. This is cool. Come on, I, you know, as far as pencils are concerned. Yeah. This is pretty cool. It's just fun to see you get excited about something that's not a fountain pen. Lamy two thousand mechanical pencil. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people out there who use. Use a fountain pen, but then they also use a ballpoint, or they use a roller ball, or they use a mechanical pencil. Well, here's your chance. If if you're a pencil uh, user, uh, Lamy makes two different in the Macrolon, two different mechanical pencils. They make a .5 and a .7, and they're even marked. Yeah, and it's it's there's, completely obvious. There's nothing worse than getting a mechanical pencil, and you don't know what you go size through it all is. the lead, and then you need to get more lead. And you don't know what size you need. In most of the most of the inexpensive pencils, you know, they've got they've got all the branding on the barrel, yep. and it's you know no, it's just all over the place. This is super classy. You know, it's, got, it's got that same classic clip, and you know it's it's push um, on the top. So Lamy two thousand pencils in 0 .5, 0 .7. and the um, ballpoint sleek. Now that's a stainless. Right. And they also, they do make the stainless in a pencil. Oh, very, yep, that's right. Only in one. Only in 0.7. These, the, these are neat too. Uh, the 2000, and this has even got a little dimple in the top. So you know that this. Is the roller. Is the roller ball. That's and how cool. cool is that? That brush stainless all the way to the end. And uh, and the same thing with same thing with the Macrolon. So we've got the with Macrolon. With the dimple at the end, yep. so you can determine which one is the fountain and which one is the roller. That's really clever. And, and just like the fountain pen, it's got the brushed uh, at the nose cone there. I like that. So um, cool. And of course, all the refills that go along with these, so you're not stuck trying to figure out what refill to use because Lamy's refills are all pretty much proprietary. Yep. Um, except for a couple that use the, the little mini. Just kind of expanding the Lamy line. And most of them, of course, are, are, are black, stainless, piano black. There's not a ton of different color options, but they're all classic. Yep. Um, they're good gift ideas. They're, you know, they're, they're good things to take to work. They're not going to be too super fragile, flashy. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're definitely not going to be fragile. You drop them, they're not going to have any issues whatsoever. Right. The Kaweco All Sport Ballpoint. Ball point. They're, they're tiny. Still small in the hand. What's the phrase? Small in the hand? <laughs> burn, the, burn the hand. Never mind. <laughs> um, they're, they're chunky just like, the, like the, the, the fountain pen, but they have this nice soft uh, button at the top to extend the... Ladies. The lead. The rose, rose gold, gold is pretty. Pretty much all of the Kawakos are kind of a matte. Kind of a brush. flat. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's certainly not... I wouldn't call this matte, but it's not glossy. Except for this guy. Yeah, that's The bright. raw, which is shiny and clean until you bang it up, which is the intention. Uh, the new Fire Blue Supra. I'm not going to touch it because I got in trouble for taking it apart last time. Well, no, you can take it apart. No? Just put it back together right. You had extra pieces left over. I didn't have extra pieces that time. <laughs> no, it's nice. Uh, it's your standard Supra, but in the Fire Blue pattern that like you've seen on the, uh, the Lily Put. Yep, we had the the brass Supra for a long time, and now we have the stainless, and now the fire and blue. The fire blue. And this yeah. is just gorgeous. Now this will patina over time, and then just a little uh, polish with a, a cloth, and it'll shine right up, just like all the other Lily puts. I think on a, on, a, on the bigger on the bigger platform, um, that fire it really blue makes is it really makes the the patterning. And of course, each cool. piece is unique, of course. Yes. It's a super cool pen. It's a super cool pen. <laughs> it's after Thanksgiving, which means... Uh, Diet time. <laughs> yes. Um, the holiday gift guide, okay. uh, which we have up on the website, and we have a number of categories to try to help you uh, fill your Christmas list. Uh, under $25, uh, stocking stuffers, under $50, under $100. For the calligraphy um, person. Yep. And uh, let me just read them off to you so you get an idea. Uh, Ideas for the artist, the calligrapher, uh, the writer, the student, the professional, uh, someone special uh, for kids. Okay, great. Um, for the pen pal, uh, so we have we have, we have puni labos in there. For we kids. have puni labos in there. Yep, we Love do. Those. Um, so we have a lot of you know pen, paper, ink suggestions uh, in there to help you out. And of course, uh, uh, if that doesn't work for you, we've got five thousand other products. So and. 
gift certificates. Gift certificates are always an option. So yes. we have those both in store and online. Mm -hmm. So if you're local uh, and uh, your gift recipient is local, then we have in-store gift certificates. In other words, we have them online too. So um, great. So those are always great gifts, and they don't they exp they don't really expire. I mean, you're going to use them up right away anyway. I mean, who lets a gift certificate expire? You get it, you spend it, right? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I do. Uh, and uh, this year we are uh, doing again. Uh, we are supporting Feeding America. Uh, we, from now until the end of the year. Yep, we did this last year. We did it last year. And for every order that comes in, uh, we are donating one meal to Feeding America, uh, Wisconsin. There's a North, uh, I think there's a Northwest Wisconsin uh, chapter. And uh, so uh, all those meals are going locally here in Wisconsin. Great. And, uh, and, and make us pay a lot of money. That's all I'm saying. Um, yeah, we, yeah. we did we did really well last year, yes. and uh, this year I'm I'm hoping to to really really ramp that up and and uh, and donate a lot. So it's a good thing to do, and uh, I like that it's it's staying local mm -hmm. for us um, to try and support the community. And um, yeah, and you know, not everybody's as fortunate as uh, as some of us, and uh, you know, like to give we'll, back. Someone needs a hand. Well, we're gonna we're gonna try to do. Do a little something, yep. I think that's it for this week. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow our blog for news, ink reviews, uh, all sorts of other events, and uh, that's it. Check us out on social media as Anderson Pens, and uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Bye.